This is going to be a quick video of my rare Sandbar FM receiver card, uh, 4201 card. And basically, it's just an FM radio. Um, it just installs in a regular 182 key system slot, just like a regular line. However, if you do install this into a regular line, um, better grip on the camera here, you do have to make sure you do modify the uh, the uh, connector. Uh, power comes on to uh, pins 15 and 17, and that is not standard for a regular slot. A regular line slot power is on 3 and 18, so you would need to modify this as you will cause damage to the card. So basically you have option for a um, external antenna, the tuner, volume, SP as speaker, because this one has a little speaker. And it does use a standard 18 pin uh, uh, edge connector. And F, uh, F, uh, AFC, I believe that stands for maybe automatic frequency control channel, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so here we go. Turn it on. Now, the volume stays the same on the speaker, but it, when you make the adjustment, it changes for the music on hold on the card itself. Uh, you know, if you use the music on hold card or line cards. Um, you, uh, I did make this like this, simply because you do not want the pins to touch, because they're real close together. So, basically, this is just a regular FM card. Now, it kind of sounds to me that you would need to use the external antenna. Um, this just not picking up much uh, where I live. Uh, the um, Bogan one up there is more um, um, works better, and this just a Bogan uh, music on hold. You can buy those for twenty or thirty dollars on eBay. That's for any phone system. That's just not has to be a one A two key. Uh, this is for a one A two key system. Um, like I said, it goes into a regular card slot. However, you would need to make any kind of uh, wiring adjustments uh, for it to work, um, which I'm kind of thinking of doing on this slot right here, the fifth slot. Uh, on my system, it's blank. It's just a spare card right there. Uh, it's, just, it's not used anything. Uh, the six slots used for the uh, intercom, uh, which is the Teltone intercom. Um... Now, the Sandbar did make a apparatus that you could install um, outside the KSU, uh, but their KSUs, the reason why they are uh, using pins 3 and 18 is their KSUs were built to have new music on hold on their main bus, uh, which is pins 3 and 18 is re uh, re really a power supply for Western Electric and ITT systems. Um, so if you, you know, if you do plan on using this on a Western Electric or ITT or any other manufacturer, you, you know, you better do your homework and, and, and check your power. Um, I believe all the pins 3 and 18 in the system is connected together on each slot, not individually, but, um, um, tied together. And for external antenna, you would use a dipole antenna. I don't know nothing about antenna, so I don't know. <laughs> so yes, a neat little um, device um, because uh, what I have here is the ITT Music on Hold 403A card, and you would need to use that if you want to use Music on, on Hold on multiple cards. Um, if you just want to do music on hold for one card, it will work. If not, if you do more than one, you will have crosstalk and it won't work right. So you would need to have a music on hold uh, card. The ITT one does require power because it does have an amplifier built into that to work. And I'm going to have to get that wall wired in someday. <laughs> so i am just kind of rigged up a little test here. Actually, the power fell, um, for the power uh, 24 volt ground fell off. So, 
gotta be careful here. So, just to show you what it looks like. It's just the size of a regular card. And if you have any questions, comments, post them below.